Yo, what is up guys, this is Jacko2011 and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be showcasing all of the dev stores that I could get my hands on. And yes, this is on the old map. And yes, this is not the real Dinosaur Simulator. This is uh, one of those pirated games uh, again. Yes, yes. I don't suggest like playing on these, but it's obviously your choice. Um, so basically the owner gave me all the dev source and I couldn't resist uh, trying them out to be honest And I asked you guys if you like wanted a, a review of all of them So that's what I'm trying to give you right now But basically this classic Lucy model here is free So every, everyone can use this but all of the other dev source have been given to me Like I, I don't remember really asking for them at first But yeah I, I guess it's cool I, I, I don't endorse um theft of models but hey it, it's not really my problem and anyways the, the game has already been reported to the roblox roblox developers i guess the roblox um support i guess is, is what you you should call it so the first dev saw is really really um classic lucy and i think that this was one of the first dev saws to ever be released even even before the cube i think um it's got a few animations which are cool and yeah, here's the role. I, I really remember that. I, I play. I remember playing with the Supernub when she was using this on the um, Dinosaur Simulator. And it was really flipping epic. Like, this thing was so strong. Keep in mind, it was before the restats, or the re realistic restats at least. So, it was really flipping epic, this guy. Or, oh, girl. L Lucy, uh, as you know, the, the, new, the new one had um, breasts, I, I, I guess. So, it's a female, alright? It's a female demon. I don't really know how that works. And um, the flying is sort of weird. You have to jump and then press Q for the animation to display. And you're kind of stuck looking at the butt like this. Which is um, kind of annoying. You cannot see it from the sides or anything. But you can at least see the, the flying animation from behind I guess. Which is really nice. I'm just get rid of this chat. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think there's much else to um, Classic Lucy. I mean there's an attack as well. I don't think a yeah the AOE actually works so when it this is the AOE if it works attack AOE okay yeah it looks pretty cool so the first like crazy thing is the uh, the new Lucy so this is the thing that had breasts as you can see which is really weird all right it's, it's really weird I don't know why it has yes I'm not gonna say that word too much because then I'm probably gonna be flagged and demonetized and I don't want that. So this was the, the Lucy model from Dragon Vs. Um, that was um, supposed to be the remake for Lucy aka Supernob Stevsaw. But then she decided to make uh, Scylla or Skiller, however you pr um, choose to pronounce that. Like I, I, I've always said Scylla instead of Scylla. But I know a lot of people say Scylla as well. Anyhow. This model is really cool as well. Obviously, it was a remodel of the the other one, and it looks really beastly. And it, it it's sad that Dragon Versus died or whatever you should call it. Like, did it die? I'm pretty sure it died. Like, I I think pl people stopped playing it at least, and that obviously should mean that it died. Like, I I don't really know what else it could mean that people stop die stop playing. Not dying. What I'm saying. Okay, let's see if there's an AOE for this guy. I don't know. Yes, there is. Oh, I need to see that again. How about the normal attack? Normal attack, let's see. Oh, so like a, a swipe? I don't really... I don't really know. A swipe of some sort? And then the AOE again. I need to see this AOE. Okay, so it falls. It, it, I, I'm not actually sure what it does. It, it just... It, Attacks? Uh, I don't know what what it's doing. Like jumps on the prey and then does something weird. Anyhow, let's check out the flying animation. Oh yeah, the flying animation is epic. And this is, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I made that update suggestion video, right? And this is the type of flying I'd want. Not not have it like be centered around the butt of the dinosaur. Like I cannot see anything but the butt. Oof, and I don't I don't really like that to be honest. <laughs> So I, I want it to be like you can see all the way around instead of it being like this But I like the way that you can like fly upwards Directly upwards and directly downwards to a hunt like this. It looks way cool at least to me I don't know what you guys think. So this is um, Lucy's successor Skiller and yes, you've guys seen me play as this before on Supernub's uh, testing game so you can say that this was not directly stolen from um, Dinosaur Simulator. This was stolen from the Supernups testing game. 
And yeah, there, there's not much to skill her. Like, I think Lucy is cooler, to be honest. And also, it's very dark right now, so I cannot really see it. But we've got some raw for it here. Which is a really long roar, apparently. And what about... May maybe some of the growls work as well. Yeah, the growl works well. What about the call, then? And the call works as well. Epic. What about the AoE, then? Oh. And keep in mind there's that it, it may say 10,600 HP up here. And we, we don't know the official Dinosaur Simulator stats anymore. And I don't know why, but the developers do not want to release it, which is like, which I think is a really bad move of them. Um, because we, we we have to find out the stats ourselves. They do not want to give us the stat sheet with all the stats. Please tell me what you think about that in the comment section. So they don't want to give us the full list of restats that we can use for like finding out what the best dinosaurs are, etc., etc. None of that, so... Yeah, we don't know any, any dev source that's currently, so I cannot make like a top 10 strongest dev source or anything like that currently. Uh, did I try the AOE already? Uh, it doesn't seem like the AOE is working. Oh yeah, it is. Yes, epic. An attack as well. Just just some kind of slap, I don't know. And then we've got a Coex a dev source. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I do not remember the name either. Apparently it's called something with Cario Ball. Cario Ball? I'm I'm not too sure actually, but it's it's a really cool model I guess. The design is cool, and it was supposed to be some sewer monster I guess. I have no idea what it is to be honest. Um, I don't know if there's a role for it. Let me see. Yeah, seems to be no role. How about a growl? Maybe it didn't have any um any sounds. Maybe that's why. And obviously it does not have an attack either because it's a, it's a really old model and it was made by Koei who was like quite bad at model making back then. So that's that's not much to say about this guy. Let's try out the Vendigo King. You guys may remember this. This is Mike's Dev Saw or previous Dev Saw before the Cactus. So yeah, this was the strongest, at least an attack Dev Saw back in the day. And it was really cool and it had this copyrighted song. Um, when uh, it used a uh, call and I've already tested and it, it's not there so that was like if youtubers played with it right and they had sound on we would play the copyrighted sound so people would be demonetized which was uh, really mean to be honest I think it I think so at least but I don't know what you think let me try the roar for you here so, yeah I, I don't know where that thing is from the roar but um, it was definitely very weird and we've got has it got yeah some weird attack like this it, it just takes its, its arm up and slaps you what about an aoe there is no aoe animation so there's oh wait okay so it crunches you or something it hugs you i don't know what it just did right there anyhow here's the alligatera as well we've got this boy as well there this this is not really a death saw but it's like um a mini mod saw or something so these are th th this guy is for the um moderators to use on uh, on edge games and i don't really know why they got this i mean like a lot of people do more than the moderators i at least think right now that i don't see the moderators do a lot yes i am sometimes uh, overlooking on edge games to look for um to look for remakes and such so but i, I never see the moderators do anything other than like seno seno is the only like super extreme active moderator and i don't get why they got this i i I'm, I'm fine with Seno getting it because he's done a lot, but why, why is the moderators getting this? They have done literally nothing. Um, at least, I think. I think that as well. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's much to this. It's just a rebranded version of the of Lucy, so it should probably have the same role. Let me check. Uh, it does not have any role, it seems. Uh, growl, no. Call, no. Attack, yeah, so it looks very much like the Lucy thing and yeah it's the same and basically the same animations as the lucy remake um i don't think there's much else to this guy i mean like the the walking animation is really cool but it's basically yeah rebranded version of lucy and then we've got a blade step saw <laughs> over month and the thing is this is the reason why the game was reported um because uh, they stole over month and blade got really mad about it so um the game was reported and nothing has been done 
which just goes to show Roblox not uh, willing to ta do anything about um, games that exploit to uh, and steal dinosaurs or models. Not necessarily dinosaurs, obviously, but they steal models and whatever. And even when we report them to Roblox, nothing happens, which is really tragic, to be honest. Like, I don't know why Roblox doesn't do anything about this, but it, it just gives us like a hopelessness because Roblox does not want to do anything. It doesn't want to help us get rid of exploiters, um, exploited games, etc. They, I'm, 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 I'm being very skeptical right now. Yes, I know, but I just think that a lot of these big companies do not really care about this. They just want to make their money. And yes, I understand that, but still, there's got to be some servers and like protection against exploiters and stuff. Like, uh, anyhow, I'm not gonna rant more on that. So. Overmoth, epic, um, I don't know if there's a raw for it. It seems like there's no raw. Oh! What the heck? I've never heard that raw before. I've never heard this raw before. Holy moly, I've never heard that. G, maybe, growl? Come on. Give me something. Call, no. AOE is like a spin, I think. No. He was just a tail club smash. <laughs> what about attack? Yeah, attack is just a headbutt. But th this roar was actually pretty cool. I don't know why I've never heard Blade do this. Look, it sounds very weird, but it's also very cool at the same time. Um, so we've got the old Super Sucus as well. And we have actually killed this guy in the past. There's a little roar for you right there. It's not that loud, but th this guy was really big. Just look at the size of this guy. I don't. Know, maybe he's even larger in game. I'm not too sure. But the thing is, he he's gotten a remodel. I don't know if it's been published to the game yet, but he's he's gotten a remodel. So Fiona has got a new dev saw, and I'm gonna show you that um, in a minute as well. So there's not much to this guy. I mean, like the walking animation uh, compared to the running animation, it just lifts its uh, torso a bit up. No nothing else. Nothing too crazy. But I still think it's a very cool model, and I don't know why it had to be remade. Like, it, it looks amazing, even like one and a half or two years after being made. Like, I, I don't really understand these developers wanting to remake the Dev Souls all the time, because they look amazing already. Like, I don't really get it. Anyhow, um, yeah, there's not much. I don't think there's an AoE. Maybe there is. Oh, yes, so that the AoE is a tail slap, apparently. No, nothing too crazy. Growl. Maybe a call. It definitely sounds cool, but it's not nearly as loud as the Overmoth one. Like, the Overmoth one was like, beast. Yeah, and the animation didn't work. What? Um, so here's the Ve Vex Vexahias, uh, which is uh, Wolf Dragons and Jeff Nett's Dev Saw um, that they made together. And I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, Young got his own Dev Saw now. Young. His or her, I, I have absolutely no idea. Um, so... This guy is probably the weakest dev saw, the weakest real dev saw currently. Let's check out the raw if it's got one. And it did. Well, how about a growl? Mm, the growl is not that cool. Call. Hmm. I think the the the, the raw was cool. And yeah, the raw is definitely cool. And we've got um, a pretty cool running animation, I guess. It's, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Like, I, I was never too fond of this model, to be honest. And um, let me show you the flying animation. So it's basically like uh, if it's swimming or something, I don't really know. And again, I cannot see anything but the butt of it. So that's uh, kind of annoying, yes. But I cannot really do anything about it currently as it stands. But it's definitely a cool model. Like, props to them. And then the Super Sucus remake as well. Here it is, Super Sucus Remake. And yes, it's basically the same design, but now he's walking on two feet. And he's got hands now instead of like uh, four feet. And obviously the face is um, higher, taller than before and not as wide. So basically it, it, it's like evolved into... I don't really even know what kind of thing this looks like. What kind of animal. It may look like, I have no idea actually. But it's, it's really cool. Like, this model is epic. It's used the same um, uh, texture as from um, Blade Ninja's uh, Sakusuki's remake. Let me try the raw. 
It seems there is no roll at all. G, C, no nothing. No attack either. So yeah, this model is very new. We don't know much about it. I, I have not seen it in-game at all. You can tell me if you've seen it in-game as of right now. Because I have no idea at all. Let's check out the last Death Soul I was able to get my hands on. And that's the Kitty Gator. The Kitty Gator Boy by um, Hexarua slash Liss. This is one of the classics as well. Hexarua is probably the most active developer in the game. I don't know about Blade if he's that active. But Hexarua, I, I've seen Kitty Gator numerous times. And it's a really cool model to be honest. Like it's a Black O. Um, ba basically Black O was based off of this guy. So, oh, this this girl, I don't know, because it, it's called Lucas the Kitty Gator. So Lucas is a guy's name, obviously. Let's check if there's any animations. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was like a cat. <laughs> How about G? <laughs> oh my god. How about Cole? <laughs> Moly, I love these roars. I've never heard them before. How can I never have heard these roars and calls before? Oh, I don't know. That was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> what? Let me try the AoE. Is there an AoE, maybe? No, there probably is not. But there is, it is an attack. Yeah, I think Kitty Gator is one of my favorites, actually. Very cool, very cool. Let me try the flying. So we know this helicopter flying animation. It's it's one of the OG animations. It's really cool. And with that, I've tested out all the depth swords I could get my hands on. Um, we're missing Rakusu, definitely. Cactus and Svinova. But we've already played as um, Svinova before. We've obviously also played as um, Rakusu. So I don't really remember if there's any other dev source. There, there's the cube, but obviously, yeah, uh, the, the cube. I don't know if it's not that interesting. Anyhow, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Right? Leave a like if you enjoyed this video showcasing all the dev source. Maybe you learned something about the dev source lore. I don't know. So, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.